Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the 4K webcam from Logitech, the Brio. Before we jump into the unboxing, let's go over the specs. The camera supports 4K Ultra HD at 30 frames per second, 1080p Full HD at 30 and 60 frames per second, and 720p HD video at 30, 60, and 90 frames per second. Now for OS support, you can use it on Windows 7 or higher, Mac OS 10.10 .10 Yosemite, as well as Chrome OS 29 or higher. And for application support, you can use it with Microsoft Skype, Teams, Zoom, Fuse, Cortana, Windows Hello, Cisco Jabber, OBS, and Camtasia, and plenty of other apps. Now that we're done going through the specifications and app support, let's get right into the unboxing. The camera comes in in about four inches wide and about one inch deep. The Brio does use a USB-C connection to connect to your computer. The mounting bracket does allow for a variety of different mounting options. Due to the width and the different angles that you can position at, it can be placed on many different items. Now if you're looking for more of a floating setup, popping off the bracket does reveal a tripod mount as well. Besides the different mounting options, it does come with the ability to be positioned in a variety of different angles. Looking at what else is in the box, we have our setup documentation. We have a USB-C cord that is roughly seven feet long. And lastly, we have a travel pouch. Now that we're done with the unboxing, I'm gonna head over to OBS Studio where we'll go through the camera quality and settings. To start off, we're gonna add our video capture device, our Logitech Brio, and that's gonna be located under the Sources tab here. We'll hit this plus sign and we'll choose video capture device. We'll give it a name. I'm going to call mine Brio, pretty self-explanatory and we'll hit OK. And now here by default, it goes to my internal webcam. From the drop down here, I'm going to select my Logitech Brio. Now that the camera's been activated, let's go down and start making some changes to the camera itself. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the resolution type here. I'm gonna choose custom. And then from the drop down, uh, you'll have a variety of different resolutions. At the top, we obviously have our 4K. For the purpose of my recordings, I'm going to be recording at 1920 by 1080. And as you probably noticed, the image is upside down. And that's just because of the way I mounted my camera. I actually mounted it upside down. I'm gonna to need to fix that. And in order to fix that, all we need to do is scroll down to the bottom here and choose flip vertically and then I'll hit OK. And now it's corrected the video vertical position. Now in order to fix the horizontal positioning, right click on your screen here, choose transform, and choose flip horizontal. And that's giving the exact image that I'm seeing right now in front of me. Now that I've corrected the video positioning, let's take a look at some of the other settings. So going over to our Brio cam again, let's just do a right click, choose properties, and then we'll choose configure video. Here we have all our default options for our camera. So we have the brightness set at a default of 128, 128. And you'll wanna go through all these settings to make sure you have the best visual representation for what you're looking to accomplish. One of the things I'd like to adjust is the white balance. So I take off the check mark here on auto. I actually bump mine back to about 6,900. I leave the backlight on, the gain I leave as is. Over in the camera control, we have our zoom options here. So if you want to digitally zoom in, you could. I'm not a fan of that, so I always leave it at 100%. I do also take the auto focus off and I mainly adjust my focus points because I'm pretty stationary. If you've watched any of my other videos, I'm pretty much filming my hands. I tend to always be in the same position when I'm filming. Okay, so let's take a look at the manual focus here. So I just got my sound core case and I'm slowly gonna start dialing in so slowly start increasing it. So 35, 40, 
45. And here it's really focused in now, so you can see everything clearly. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the autofocus and we'll see how fast it comes into focus when I'm moving it around. And now we can see it's out of focus. And let's just do that right there. And now we're back in focus again. It does a pretty good job of coming in focus. Now, when you're doing like an unboxing or you're doing something with quick motion, sometimes when you're recording, you're not going to want to see it um, having to readjust every time. So it's going to make for a lot of editing. I'd like to leave it, like I said, on the on the manual focus. So now I'm just going to uncheck it there. I'll hit apply. Uh, we have our pan and tilt settings. I never adjust those, so I'm just going to hit OK on here. And the next thing we'll do is let's do a microphone test. I'm going to record some footage using the built-in microphone on the Brio. So right now I'm standing about one foot away from the microphone and this is the raw audio that you're hearing coming off of it. Let me know your thoughts of the quality down in the comments down below. So this is where I'm going to end the video today. All the product links can be found in the description down below. And since you're there, hit that like button and help the channel grow by hitting that subscribe button to get all the latest videos. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next one.